Welcome to the Garage Woodworks Video Podcast. So I just made a brand new table saw sled and I thought I'd demonstrate how I go about squaring the fence on the sled. And the way I do it utilizes a square and a dial indicator. There are other methods to square a table saw sled fence and probably the most popular method is the five cut method. And uh, in my opinion, that method is a little bit more tedious than the method I'm gonna show you now and potentially less accurate. And if you're not familiar with the five cut method, I'll have a link to that on my website. My table saw sled fence is attached on the right hand side with a single screw and on the left hand side it's just free to move at this point. Um, after I align my table saw sled fence uh, to exactly 90 degrees I'll go ahead and drive a screw from underneath. So for demonstration purposes I went ahead and pushed the fence forward on the left hand side to show you what happens to the dial indicator face when I push forward. You can see the, uh, the direction of the of the dial will tell me which way I need, I need to adjust the sled fence in order to bring it into 90 degrees. So let me move it back. Now I'll go ahead and exaggerate the sled fence um, in the opposite direction by pulling it towards me and watch what happens to the dial indicator needle as I push it forward now. It moves in the opposite direction. So because of this I know which way to adjust my sled fence in order to bring it into 90 degrees. There you go. No movement on the dial indicator phase, so I know my sled fence is now perfectly 90 degrees and I didn't have to make a single cut. A neat feature that I incorporated into my new table saw sled is this sliding stop lock, which slides on two T-bolts. And because the stop lock is elevated off of the floor of the table saw sled, any sawdust that gets in between the workpiece and the stop lock will simply slide underneath the stop lock and will not interfere. Okay, so there you go. Quick method for squaring your fence on your table saw sled that doesn't require any test cuts. And uh, this same method can be used on your miter gauges as well. And if you'd like more information, visit my website at garagewoodworks.com. Thanks for watching.